Alright, we are currently in the most breakable store in the world, also known as Pier 1. You can see all kinds of breakable shit all over. So, uh, I guess if I break anything, I'll record that. I need this. <laughs> I really need this. You missed your mouth completely. She needs that. Oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> Got goosebumps. I have no idea who this is now. Excuse me, ma'am. Do you know where my wife went? Okay, I gotta go look for her. Okay, um, Christine, where are you? Where are you? Oh, hey, there she is. Okay, so you guys voted. Um, basically, we had a tie between one person wanting me to just do Jack Skellington's head, and then somebody wanted me to do Jack, Sally, and Zero. So, I kind of wanted to do something more of a challenge than just Jack's head, because that's kind of, you know, it's just a smile in his eyes. So, what I did is I went ahead and sketched it out first. And now. I'm gonna try to sketch it on the pumpkin. Okay, Christine has just cut the hole in the top of hers and she's now opening it. Ooh, guts. It's like somebody ate a pumpkin and then threw up inside of it. And here she goes, getting ready to de-gut it. Uh, that's not so slimy, it's just kind of like a dry pumpkin. Your mom's a dry pumpkin. Okay, so as you can see, I got the hill outlined. And now it's time to add some peoples. Okay, so I'm done outlining it. And just to be safe, I'm going to take the pencil here. I'm gonna go ahead and shade all the stuff that I'm not so that I have to cut out so that I don't accidentally cut into the wrong spot, which I've been known to do. Got my top popped and I am ready to go. Okay, we are finally done. It only took me like three hours, but here we go. Alright, here we go. This is the uh, end product. Oh, it kind of looks like a devil, though. Alright, so as you see, not quite as cool when the light's on. You can see all the marker marks I got there. Um, those were kind of hard to get rid of, so I just didn't... I mean, you can't really see it in the night anyway, so... I just didn't bother with it. Okay, guys, so check this out. She's had her phone since Thursday, and it is now Sunday. So she's had it for like three days. Watch this. Can you see that? That's her phone. Hitting this button is not doing anything. You can turn on the screen, normal, but her home button just completely does not work. You can open it up and Don't. you can open any kind of app, like, and it's not taking her back. Good job, Apple. All right, we're at Walmart. It's about 1 o'clock in the morning because we're doing manly stuff. Me and her being manly together. Check this out. Buying all kinds of things here. We got mushrooms and green peppers and onions and brown rice. Yeah, we're making stir fry. Pop tart. You know, I really only like one kind of Pop Tart, and that's these ones right here. Wild Delicious. They're my favorite kind. I don't know why. I just I don't really like any of the other kinds.
I find it kind of funny that the, the grocery store associates here, like, you put your eggs on the counter, and then as they're opening it, they're like, did you check your eggs? Like, why does it matter if I checked my eggs if you're checking my eggs? <laughs> She's so excited because she found Capri Sun. For the ultimate kid. Go, Go big. big. That's what she said. Guaranteed the most comfortable pillow you'll ever own. According to this guy. Lucky me. I figured out how to fix it. You have to literally turn the camera to the iPhone sideways. Sorry guys. You're just going to have to help me out and watch this video with the little black bars on either side. Um, I guess in the future I won't do that. So, sorry. <laughs>